Hey folks, name a game you know that has penguins in it in the comments. Except for Super Mario 64. And except for Sonic 3. Those are the only ones I really care about. You could name like Yoshi's Island or something if you want. Hi, I'm Krep, and I'm playing Penguin Game. This game has a penguin in it. This is actually a work in progress game, as so you can tell by the fact that it's this development build in the bottom right there. This is uh, a, a build that is not public at the time of recording, but will be public soon for the Super Mario World Central creativity. Nope, I couldn't, rem I couldn't remember it. Here we go. C3, welcome to C3. Creativity Convention, Creativity Convention. The Super Mario World Central Creativity Convention, also known as C3, which is primarily, as you might guess, a space for people to share stuff that they're working on in terms of Super Mario World ROM hacks. But, you know, it's it's also just anyone in the community, if you're making something, uh, post it. So, that's what this build is going to be for. It will be for. People will see it then, uh, which will be very cool. But at the time of recording, I'm just playing this because uh, Domo, the creator of this game, is a friend of mine who has shared it on my Discord server for us to mess with and give feedback for before it's public. So I'm not sure if this will be going up before the before the game is public for C3, but regardless, as soon as C3 is started, you should check it out. Um, I'm assuming it'll be available either through Super Mario World Central's forums or through Domo's itch.io page. Uh, which I will will link both just to be safe, as well as Domo's Twitter. So what is Penguin Game? Uh, well, first off, I forgot to mention also the music for this is done by my friend Rudd, so it's just all around a great friend experience. But Penguin Game is this little 2D platformer-like. Um, not sure if it has, like, exploration elements or, or just what just yet, because I've only seen so much from Domo. I've intentionally, like, not looked into it that much and also have not played this build before recording, but you have a jump. <coughs> Apologies, my throat's a little not great today at the time of recording uh, for, for medical reasons that have nothing to do with any sort of actual illness. It's, it's straight up something else, I swear, but it kind of sucks. Um, you have a jump button, a nice little jump, fun arc. You, you fall faster than you rise, and you got a BURST button, which just sends you going. You can do it again in the air. It's very fun. I'm pretty sure that little that little flash, that circle around Penguin, it's some kind of indicator for when you can burst again. Or something. Something like that. Maybe. Not sure. Um, but I know you can burst in the air, and you can burst multiple times. It's not sure what the circumstances are just yet, but stop you from bursting again. Maybe it's that you can only burst vertically once, or something. Hmm. Anyway, this build only has the hub world in the first level, so let's let's actually get into it. I'm very curious what it's going to be like. The impression that I've gotten from Penguin Game so far from development GIFs and development screenshots, mostly GIFs uh, and videos, has been that it's, it's kind of a, a control-wise and game feel-wise a mix of like 2D Sonic and 2D Metroid. Which I think is very cool. Oh, that bottle cap that I just picked up feels very Celeste, which I would I would not be surprised if that's also an inspiration for this. The idea of uh, collectibles being something you have to pick up and then stand on solid ground to actually collect. There's some interesting stuff going on with the burst controls because it sends you into a sliding state, which you can stay in. It looks like the way you get out of it is by turning around while on the ground. If you turn around in the air while you're sliding, you will still slide. You can also stop it by uh, bumping it to a wall. <laughs> There's some great sprite work in this game, honestly, for for like the state that it's in. Uh, it's very polished, it's a very charming look to it. Great color palette as well. Curious, uh Oh my god. Oh my god, it plays at different pitches. 
Oh, that's fantastic. I'm curious what's up with these uh, vending machines. The fact that they're lighting up as I pass them makes me feel like they're probably checkpoints. So that, that little challenge was, was simple and straightforward enough. I bet I could have done it a lot more, uh, a lot faster if I'd been like bursting before I left the ground or something. I'm interested in what like nuance you can get up to in the controls just by bursting at different times and doing stuff. I also wonder if this has like, you know, cause I'm making only Celeste comparisons. I, I'm pretty sure Domo likes some Celeste. Looks like we have like a little bit of co coyote time, which is great. Every platform should have that. I wonder if it has uh, any other like advanced tech that isn't immediately apparent in the same way Celeste does, or uh, if it will. I know that um, there's some kind of like shine spark like thing in this, but I don't know if it's in this build or if it's an unlockable thing. Or, or anything. Like, I don't know anything. We're gonna find out together, if there's anything to find out. Uh, I think it's worth noting that this isn't an instant death game. I don't really have any sort of health indicator that I can see, so I'm not sure if I'm just functionally invincible, or... Oh my god, there's loops! I don't know if I'm functionally invincible, or if, like... That's awesome! Oh! I think I hit a Shine Spark state. Because I recognize that effect from the video Domo shared. Yeah! Oh my god! Or something like that? I don't know what I can do with that, but that's very cool. Hmm... Okay, I noticed I have a little flickering animation after I do a burst upward in the air. And that's the indicator for when I can't do another one. This is cool. There's a lot going on here. Um which is starting to translate to, like, my brain and how I enjoy 2D Sonic games, because I can tell... I can tell that, uh, if I'm in a sliding state and I'm going fast and I go on an incline and I jump, I jump higher, which is exactly what I want. 100% what I want. I'm curious how I get the rest of those coins, though. I may have, uh, just missed something already. Can't go above, so... Let's try going really fast. I seem to be capable. There we go. That's simple and straightforward. Oh my god, I went really high. <laughs> yes, this is exactly what I want. 100%. Oh, there's something over there. Let's try going above first. This looks like an optional area, maybe. Okay, so I can I can only burst these balloons if I'm bursting, which I guess, uh, you know, the terminology makes sense. Now that's a death, okay. Which, which makes sense, that's a pit, so... Okay, so it's not specifically bursting, it's just you have to be in a sliding state, which, you know, incidentally, bursting does, so... That makes sense, that makes sense. Oh, I saw another bottle cap. Uh, I remember Domo mentioning uh, in the notes for this build, that bottle caps do save, but coins don't. But, you know, I'm, I'm having a fun time getting coins. I see no reason not to get them. They're shiny. Cool. Yeah, some very, very Celeste-like challenges, which, again, not to, uh, like, compare work or anything. I think it's very cool to have more games that, like, fit the, the vibe of Celeste specifically. <coughs> oh, perfect. They're, uh, Tutorializing slide canceling. I, I'm guessing I will want to do that on that platform. Or something. I think I'm doing it right. I'm getting the controls a little mixed up sometimes because uh, Z on the keyboard is jump and X is burst, and I'm, for whatever reason, just the kind of person who prefers having my primary action be on my index finger and my secondary action being on my middle finger. So having it be reversed, which a lot of games do, a lot of games with keyboard controls just do that, uh, tends to throw me off. That's why it's always, in my opinion, imperative that games have customizable controls, but this is a work in progress game, so I'm not going to hold that against Domo or anything. <laughs> I kind of want those coins, even though it's going to kill me. Yeah, literally kill me. Okay, 
so in that state, if I take another hit, I just die. That's good to know. I understand now. Okay, I think uh, I want to do like this. That like sort of worked, but it didn't get me all the coins, so I have to do it again. <laughs> okay, so those are not jump-throughable platforms. Oh, I also noticed that they will fall out from underneath you, but they fall out immediately if you jump off them, which is interesting. Okay, yeah. The thing that I've only just now picked up is that the horizontal burst does have like a little bit of a vertical motion to it, just a little bit. So that makes sense why I'm seeing a lot of coins and like arcs and stuff. See, like this sort of challenge makes perfect sense. This is very like you have an air dash, that air dash specifically activates stuff um, that refreshes your air dash. Do this, this slightly tricky air dash timing thing. Makes perfect sense. There's a lot of really sensible challenge design happening here. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to go through there, but that doesn't get me all the coins, so is it worth it? No, I say. I have to do it again. Oh, okay. So I can't actually just go through here without the assistance of that first platform. But I can do it, which is fun. I like that. Okay. That's a little tighter than I was thinking. Huh. The coins were indicating that you just go straight up there, so I wonder if there was something else I should have been doing. Not sure. Oh. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's great, honestly. No problems whatsoever. So let's see, I can... I can burst and then burst again and I get more speed. That's just a thing. But earlier I was able to use the terrain to my advantage while also bursting. Oh, and I really want to jump high there. I was able to use the terrain to my advantage while bursting repeatedly to get some real speed. I'm jumping too late. You all see what I want, right? I really want to jump off a slight incline and, you know, look at where it got me. It was completely worth it. 100%. Oh my god, the balloons rise? Ah! Okay, well. Okay, I understand. Interesting. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna bop these balloons. I just wanna move the platforms. There we go, now they're closer together. Incredible. One thing I noticed while testing, doing a test recording earlier, before I started this, was that... Sorry, I just stopped and, like, process what I just did. I hope that balloon comes back. Um, okay, it does. Uh, was that when you're in a sliding state and you go up a wall, you can jump off it. Um, and if you keep having upward speed, you can keep jumping off the wall, and I wonder if that's going to be anything <laughs> at any point in the future. Let's just do, like, uh, that? Yeah, perfect. Hmm. Not so smart, I think. Oh, is it just two hits, period? Is it just two hits, period? What happened to me there? No, I think, I think I just didn't realize I was still in a hurt state. Um, <coughs> let's see, how do I do this? Because I, I get the impression what I want is like, to take that balloon up there where I can see some visible ground. Okay, I understand now. I understand what it wants for me. I still, I still flubbed it up, but like, that's okay. That's just a matter of execution. Knowledge and execution, as it turns out, are two separate things when it comes to accomplishing tasks in a uh, digital environment. Look at that. Free bottle cap. It was so easy. I knew exactly what I was doing and I did it. So easy. Okay, so this is just the thing right now, is getting these balloons up. Did I- did I need that one? Oh, I'm going to need it now. Perfect, it just- it just hangs out underneath that platform. I thought it was going to, like, pop or something, and I wouldn't be able to use it. I don't know why I thought that. 
it hanging out under the other platform is a much more consistent behavior. That makes sense with how it's oh, how it's been uh, interacting with platforms up to that point. My guess is that I need to actually leave that balloon alone. Oh yeah, I need to take that balloon further up, is how that works. I, I think I left too early. Okay, yeah, it's it's something like stringing it all the way up there, so I'm gonna leave it, gonna let it pass. Okay, I need to let it go further up so that I travel further up with that burst. Something like that, is my guess. Huh. Almost. I think I'm doing it right, I'm just not giving it enough time. Just like that. Oh. Was I supposed to do that? Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I just could have gone around, so I think that balloon just goes. Now I'm I'm understanding better. <laughs> that balloon just goes, as it turns out. I want it later. Something like that, I think. Ah. Too late now? I think it's too late now. I have to do it all over again. That's okay. You know what I always say? If I had to do it all over again, I guess I would just do it all over again just to do it all over again. That's why I like to fling myself into pits. It's it's an extra uh, motivator to do my favorite thing, which is doing it all over again. Did my did my bottle just burst that balloon? Uh, that's what I thought I saw as I was looking away for a second. Okay, I need to like stop holding right there because that's sending me directly into the spikes, and that's just not very smart. I think I should be a little more considerate of my own safety. Okay, yeah, if I take too long, it hits the saw blade there. And if I burst over to the right like that, I just die. And like, that makes sense. I should know that. There we go. Not that bad at all. You just have to know what you're doing. There's really nothing over to the left here. There's really nothing. Oh well. Let's go really fast. Oh, and I still missed the bottle cap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Six out of 16, huh? Died 14 times. Don't know where those other 10 are. Would you look at that? Oh, it even even tells me where in the level I got them. Incredible. So I know where to look in the level. What is this gimmick? Incredible. Okay, hold on. There's a bottle cap right there. Oh, that's why it was showing three bottle caps on the door to the hub. Okay. Okay, it seems like I might not be able to reroute myself when I'm drilling through the snow like this. Is that what was up? Yeah, I think I can't re-angle myself, so I really want to do this. Makes perfect sense. Well, hold on. Oh, that's cool! Oh my god, how Mario Odyssey of you! I'm sure games before Mario Odyssey did that, I just didn't know of them. Hold on, I'm pressing my buttons wrong. Okay. That's cute. That's really cute. Aw, oh, man. I really like that the penguin's beak is a factor in this. Hmm. Wonder how I get up there. You know, just thinking. <laughs> nice. Another bottle cap for us. Bubble? Hello? Bubble? Okay. Aw, oh, man, that was like almost something. Ooh. It gets all spiky as it's about to pop. Oh my god, there's uh, lots of this hub area. Oh my god. There's so much to enjoy here. This isn't even like. 
a finished game. And it's so good. Like, as soon as it's playable for everyone, everyone has to play it. Oh my god, do you see what I just did there? That was awesome! That was like one of the coolest things anything has ever uh, allowed me to do. Ever. <laughs> did you see it? That was great! <laughs> So I really... I wonder what I can do to, like, store that speed charge. So I know there is a way, I just don't know how. This is a two-button game, so my only my only options are, like, press jump in the air, or uh, press burst again, and jump seems a little more likely, but I haven't tried it yet. Kind of have to actually, like, get into speed state first. Ooh, well, that was a pretty cool trick I just accidentally did in trying to do that. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Jump didn't do anything. Oh, there's a bubble over there. What can I do with these ice walls? Anything? Okay, yeah, I can stick in them too. That's good to know. That's also how I get around. Okay, that that is helpful, because then I can do this. Sort of. <laughs> I can do this. And then that lets me get around. Blech. Sort of. Ah, uh, I think I may have actually been able to get that there if I hadn't swerved to the left. Let's see. I'm starting to understand like the controls timing now. And you do, you take some momentum into those bubbles, which is really good to know. You can really use that to your advantage. That's it, that's all three bottle caps in the hub. That's cool. Well folks, I'm I'm no completionist. I'm not going to be continuing to play this right now to get the rest of the bottle caps. I hope I've demonstrated what's so cool about Penguin Game and why you, the person watching this, the people watching this plural, should play it as soon as it's available, assuming it's not available when I put this up. You know, if it, it will be or it won't be. Look into it. Do your own research. I trust you. I know you know how to use Google. And you probably, I don't know, Google search results might not get you this game super well. I know you know how to read YouTube descriptions. You've watched this far. Most people who don't know how to read YouTube descriptions don't watch to the end of YouTube videos this long. 